Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So let us take one more example for payback period if it is unequal. Calculate the payback period if cost of the project is equal to twenty thousand. This time, cost of the project is how much? Twenty. Annual inflow from the project for the year one is this much. For the year two, it is five thousand. For the next year, it is four. For the next year, it is five. Again, it is one thousand. Respectively, for the next four years, five years. So you have to calculate the payback period once again, like the previous one. First of all, you have to make your table, so you have to mention years, right? Years, and the second one, you have to mention what? Amount, right? And after that, of course, mention one and amount. So, like this, you have to, depends on the number of years, you have to make your column. One year, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, and so on, right? So, mention this. This is the bottom. Good. Right. Now, mention the balance of this year. How much is the inflow for the first year? Inflow for the first year is equal to amount of 10,000. Just mention the inflow. Inflow for the second year, it is how much? 5,000. Inflow for the next year, it is amount of 4,000. Inflow for the next, again, it is 5,000. Inflow for the next year, amount of how much? 1,000. So, like the previous one, now start keeping, start, uh, keep adding the previous balance. So, if you add these two balance, right? Year 1 with the year 2. Balances become equal to how much? 15,000, right? Balance become how much? 15,000. If you add the year 4 along with this one, year 3 with this one, right? Like the previous example. So, 15 plus 4, it become equal to how much? 19,000. Get 19,000, right? Among this 19. If you add, okay, let me write in a good format. Yeah. Right? So, mention it 19,000. It is a little bit difficult, right? Okay. Year 1 plus year 2 become 15 plus year 3 become 19. If you add year 4, like the previous one once again, if you add the year 4, it become 24,000. So it become more than our requirement. Our requirement is how much only? Our requirement is only amount of 20,000. But it's still we have covered only how much? It's still we have covered amount of 19,000. So we need 20, 19,000 has come out. How much is still to be recovered? It's still if you add 1,000, it become amount of so if you add more one additional thousand it become how much amount of twenty thousand so down twenty thousand is the cost nineteen thousand is covered within three years one thousand is required to be recovered from the year four right so if this is so now you can put the value of uh, so if this is so year four once again can be called as year of final recovery as year of what final recovery why this is so because balance of three years become 19, only 1,000 if you take from year four, it becomes just enough for the cost of the project. So once again, year four is the year of final recovery. So you can put now the values. What are the values? First of all, put the value of Y. Value of Y is equal to how much? In this case, before year of final recovery, how many years we have before year of final recovery? Once again, three years, right? Come down, find out the value of B. How much is B? How much balance yet to be recovered? Once again, 1,000 balance to be recovered from this year. And see how much is the balance in the year of final recovery. The balance in the year of final recovery is equal to how much? Amount of 5,000. So if this is so, now you can put the formula. So you can mention. So pay back period is just equal to y plus b divided by c, right? y is equal to 3. Three years basically, right? This is basically, if you remember, it is years. So even for example, leave just this one. So plus this one. How much is balance? Balance is amount of 1000 divided by how much was the inflow in the year of final recovery? Just amount of 5000. If you press it, you get this much. So now we can mention year, right? As well here. Once again, so we found the payback period and this become equal to how much to 3.2 years so this project can recover the original cost of the investment within how many years 3.2 if you want to convert this one once again into the uh, into demand so you can multiply 0 0.2 into how much into 12 why because one year is equal to 12 right if you multiply i think you get uh, how much you get so you just calculate you get some balance right so let me calculate this part. So zero, okay, zero two multiply to how much? Multiply to twelve. So you get equal to zero point four. Again, it become point right. So within three years, two months, and still, if you want to convert this one into the day, also you can convert it right. 
for example this point can be converted into the 0 0.4 into 30 you can be it can be converted into the day that within how many years within how many months and within how many days you can recover the original cost of investment right